Hey guys, good morning. This would be my Aquarius actual reading, okay? Aquarius? Aquarius? <laughs> I can't sing, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. No matter how bad you feel, um, or how depressed you may feel, or if you're going through something, get up and wash your face, get yourself dressed, and I promise you, it'll make you feel a lot better. I promise you. Um, when you get up, put your smell good on, take your bath and all that, your whole your whole outlook is going to change. I'm going to do Aquarius and I'm going to take me a little break. Okay? And guys, go watch that movie I was telling you about, Love Hard. That is a beautiful message in that movie. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's going to be a quick reading for Aquarius. It's going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, we have coffin and we have lovers. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that a situation has ended. Okay, a situation has ended totally. Okay. Maybe it's unbeknownst to you, Aquarius, but whatever situation you were in has ended. Let me get one more card. Okay. With the official person, whoever the official person is. The official person could have been someone that was in the military, or it could be a cop, or whatever, but um, maybe you was dating a cop, or maybe you was dating someone that was um, a lawyer, someone that was in the government, or something, you know. So, the situation had en is ended. Or maybe this person has made a choice with whatever lover that they wanted to be with, and it has ended something, okay? I'm getting also the energy of the official person. Maybe this person's reckless behavior with other lovers have ended. And this that came out say quill. It says get back to the basics. So with that, whatever that is for you guys. Maybe you have to go back to the drawing board with whatever you're dealing with. Okay. Start from the beginning. Maybe this has ended for something new to begin. Okay Aquarius. This says table, okay? It says hard work ahead. So it's going to be a lot of hard work. So whatever has ended in your life is something new is about to begin. This is what I'm getting. I'm not getting anything that's bad. And it's going to be with this official person or maybe, okay, I'm getting more than one situation. One situation, this person have, have ended uh, um have ended a marriage or some type of situationship. There, maybe it has been a child support case. Or, uh, um, you know, when you get divorced, you have to um, fight over your 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 um, your assets and things of that nature. So maybe this person has ended something, ended that situation with a lover to start something new with you. Okay, that's one situation I'm getting. Or maybe it's the end to this person's bad ways. The things that they were doing, their reckless behavior, okay? Let me just get one more tea leaf card real quick. Puppy, what are you doing? Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. get over here okay broom new home new attitude Aquarius I'm telling you either you about to move in with someone and have a new relationship with this person that has ended a relationship with a lover 
or you're about to get somewhere else to live, okay? But let's pull out these cards right here. Puppy is playing with my bells on the door. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's just take this one. It says you are very close to achieving your goals. Gibbous moon. Okay. I don't know what a gibbous moon is, guys. I'm not even going to pretend. But you are close to achieving your goals. Okay. I would have to Google that. Okay. Maybe in a relationship or something of, the, of that nature. Okay, it says, be bold and make the first move. So someone is about to be bold and make the first move. Card the moon. I keep getting that. Okay. I'm going to use my little deck, and then we're going to get into the tarot. Okay. This is my little mystery deck. Long story. I am not going to make this a long video. No, ma'am. No, shay, shay. Not today. Okay, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. I said I wasn't going to do signs because it confuses people. It's a general message, guys. Take it how it resonates. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I want to make love to you. This flew across the room, Aquarius. Who in the hell want to make love to you? Someone wants to make love to you or you want to make love to someone. Okay, and it says, lose my number. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> I am confused. It says, lose, ah, oh, okay. Okay, spirit, come through. This person, your person, wants this Sagittarius to lose their number, this other lover, so that they can come in and make love to you. That's what that's saying. That's the energy that I'm getting. Because I'm like, hold up. This is too much. Of course, y'all always got something going on. Okay, let's get into the tarot. So, this person has had you... Okay, this is the thing. This person is dealing with a Sagittarius that they're trying to get rid of. And they're begging this person to lose their number. And they have dealt with this person for too long. And this is what's been stressing this person out. And they're going to come to you and communicate that to you. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? And this is, um, we have Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So Sagitt this Sagittarius is showing up in their own read. Look at this. Because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. This person has, this Sagittarius that this person was dealing with, I'm getting has taken money. This person has lost money in this divorce case or this child um, custody battle. I just want to say child abuse. So maybe this Sagittarius was, a, oh my God, this Sagittarius was accusing this official person of child abuse. Oh my God, or vice versa, guys, take it how it resonates. And this is what has been stressing this person. And this has been like a really heavy load on this person's back. And this is what they want to communicate to you guys. Look at that. This is the secrets that they've been hiding from you. But they were trying to accuse this person of child abuse because they didn't want this person to leave because they was codependent on this person. And that's Sagittarius energy. I have Earth energy, um, Tars, Virgo, and Capricorn. So they was blackmailing this person? What the fuck? Yeah, look at this. That was a toxic situation. They was blackmailing this person. If you leave me, I'm a lie and say you fucked the child. Man, today is Sunday, Spirit. Come on now. Oh my goodness. This is sick shit. This is Capricorn energy. The devil. This bitch is the devil. This Sagittarius is the fucking devil. And this, this earth sign... 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is just now finding this out, or Aries, because I have Aries here too. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, guys, I cannot make this shit up. Look at this. This person is wanting to come towards this Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. This person is wanting to come towards this Queen of Wands. Well, I'm going to say this. and I don't see anything with this person want to come toward you. But this person wants to communicate with you. Okay? This person wants to communicate with this Queen of Wands. And they have been drinking a lot. Either you or your person has been drinking a lot. This is what I see the Nine of Cups. And they want to tell you that they're single now. And they want to come in and balance things out. Because things hasn't been balanced. Mm -mm -mm. Aquarius, y'all always got some freaky ass readings. Okay. Yep. This person had you waiting. And so that's what they want to come communicate to you. Because they was dealing with someone that was manipulating them. Lying to them. And they had to use their intuition about the situation in order to get out of it. They're heartbroken because from what I'm understanding, you told them about this situation. You guys may even had a fight or conflict about this situation. But it's something you told them is now coming true. And they're looking at you as a wise person. How did you know this? How do you know these things? How do you know what I'm going through without me telling you? Okay. One more. And that's Virgo energy. Ooh. Guys, I got to take that. Holy Spirit want me to take that. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Look at this. They want to come in and build with you. They know that you're stable. They know that you're good on your own. And you're not going to be codependent to them in no kind of way. Leo energy. They have gained and built up the strength. And they know that you're their happiness. Let's do one more card, Aquarius, and we out. Two came out. How about that? They love you. They actually love you. And this came up in reverse, the Five of Swords. They don't feel like they no longer in competition with anyone. They felt like they was in competition with somebody, or maybe they put you in competition with this Sagittarius. But now... You're not in competition with anybody, and they know that you're the one. They know you. They wish fulfillment. You're their happiness, and they want to come in and tell you this. Okay? Or you to them. Take it how it resonates, guys. This has been your reading. I love you guys. You guys have a beautiful, wonderful Sunday. Like, share, and subscribe if you would like a reading. Look down in my description box. And contact Empress Shay Shay. Bye-bye.